Oh, oh yeah, do you want to hear my nice little theory on what the project Goliath is? What is Goliath known for? Being massive. Being a huge figure. And Goliath isn't... Goliath isn't a... Isn't Marathon. Because Marathon went by another code name. So... Going off of those two little things. I'm thinking that... Bungie's probably... Trying to look... Trying to see towards making a Master Chief collection. Oh, Master Chief collection for Destiny. Wouldn't that fit the code name of Goliath? Getting all the content from both Destiny 1 and 2. Basically putting it in the same game. That's just me being hopeful, because who knows what it would what it would actually be. But yeah, also another th another theory that I had as well. Now in the final shape, the power of the witnesses after is technically re rewriting reality. What if we get the final shape in the? What if we get the power of the final shape in the final shape? And Bungie's like, you know what? Here you go, Forge mode. We finally get the power to rewrite re 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 reality as we want. I'm pretty sure good old Bungo really likes adding stuff and tying it to the story as well. I don't know about you, but that would be the perfect time to introduce something like Forgers. It would be the perfect in the uh, in-universe uh, law as well. We chase the final shape. We chase the witness. They get the final shape. We beat them. We end up getting the power of the final shape as well. What is? What do we do with it? We go ahead and make whatever the hell we want. I can also feed into the new matchmaking memes. And hell, I'm pretty sure damn near everything will be forgiven with Bungie if they actually do pull that off. <laughs> exactly. That's a hell of a lot of Kirby, but you know what? Until I'm proven wrong, it's still an idea. But yeah, to me it does make sense. To Bungie and their new business practices, probably doesn't. Because who would have guessed making the, making a place happy would, would introduce more people to the game, thus making you more money. Instead of just being straight up predatory, being money hungry. But what do I know? Yeah, another thing as well that might happen is Bungie taking the route that they did with Halo and them just selling it, selling uh, Destiny off or the game is off to someone else but they focus on Marathon and potential and potential other other media pertaining to Destiny like, sh like movies and TV shows and all that okay we're giving the game to you we will do the other Destiny things What's the possibility of Bungie opening? Well, ads starting soon. And what's the possibility that Bungie's gonna go the route and add in, open another studio beneath them that's solely in charge for solely in charge of Destiny? I wonder. Are they even big enough a studio to pull that off? Man, I really don't want to be. I really don't want that to happen either. But on the other hand, how much worse could it be? And don't answer that question. Because the answer is obviously much worse. Could get worse than trial we could get worse than the curse of Osiris with even lower play population. Could just go straight up the route of Anthem. That's basically the worst that it can go. Oh, I can't look into the future, so we'll just have to wait and see.